crazy. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Ashley Graham, model, designer, entrepreneur, and body activist. I'm so grateful to be where I am today, but the path wasn't easy. Now I'm so honored to help others gain the confidence that they need to take the next step in their lives to be totally unapologetically fearless. This is Isaiah. He's an amazing guy who developed a skin condition, vitiligo, at age 15. Vitiligo definitely affected my confidence because I used to be such an outgoing, happy person. And then when I got vitiligo, I became very anxious, very antsy. It just changed me completely. Isaiah's dream is to become an actor, but he is concerned about actually making it. I knew I wanted to be an actor since the age of five. Having vitiligo, people are going to be focusing on my appearance rather than my performance. So Total Wireless and I want to give him the confidence that he needs. Can you tell us exactly what vitiligo is? It's basically where my immune system, it's attacking the melanin in my skin, resulting in like white patches in certain areas. It's not contagious. It doesn't hurt me. Only thing that it affects is my appearance. The first time I discovered that I had it, I had like a little white patch on my shoulder here. When I went to the doctor, they said, you have vitiligo. She told my mom, like, you need to watch out for him because people with vitiligo have a high suicide rate. Oh. He's probably gonna fall in like to like deep depression, which happened for me. I wouldn't go to the store. I wouldn't step on the porch because I was so ashamed about how I looked. How did others treat you when you went to school? They started mooing at me when I walked down the hallway, oh calling me cow, zebra. And before that I was teased because I was gay. So it was rough. How did all of this affect how you saw yourself? Did you feel isolated? I felt alone. Do you know anybody else with vitiligo? Well, the only person that I know with vitiligo is Winnie Harlow. She was the first person that I seen that made me feel like, maybe this is okay, maybe I'll be okay. She gave me the confidence to audition for my first musical theater show. Really? Yeah, people say if you can't see yourself doing it, it's kind of hard to imagine yourself being there, you know? That's very true. Yeah. It took a long time for me to see anybody that looked like me in high fashion or on TV or yeah. being anything except for just called like, oh, that big girl. A lot of people would tell me, well, you should probably go into like writing or something behind the scenes. And that made me more motivated to show you like, I'm gonna do this. Isaiah, this is the exact attitude that you need to have because you're different, because you're gonna be the first. It's your confidence that's actually gonna open up those doors. I actually have a friend that can relate to everything that you're going through and I want to introduce you to them. So come with me over here. Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna walk through here a little bit. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm shaking. Oh my god. I cannot believe you're here. I'm here. You're here. Oh you're my so god. Handsome. Oh my god. They're, oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? How are you feeling? I'm so happy. Oh, oh my it's god. It's nice to meet you. Isaiah just told me that he's never met another person face to face that has vitiligo. Really? Never. This is my first time. That's why I'm like, oh my God. I'm so happy that you're happy. I'm more than happy. I'm, just, I'm oh, I can't even talk. I'm so <laughs> choked up. You broke down so many doors for not just people with vitiligo, but people that just don't feel like they can do something because of a disability or something that stops them from accomplishing their dreams and you are that person for That's me. What people always yeah. ask me like, what would you say to people with vitiligo? But it's bigger than that. It it's is. It's so much bigger than that. Like we focus so much on what other people think of us and what other people think of you is not gonna help you reach your goals. Is there any advice you can give me on not caring what people think? There's no easy answer. It's really just working every day on yourself and your confidence and knowing that within yourself that you are beautiful. And I remember being a little girl and like looking at stars and wishing on them that one day when I grow up, maybe I'll be normal. But um, people are always going to say things. No matter, like people still th say things to me. People still call me cow or whatever the case is. There's always going to be that negative, but you just have to focus on the positive. You have to remind yourself who you are, who your community is, and that you aren't alone. I'm also inspired by you because going from being bullied for being gay already and then having to deal with this, like you have a light about you and it inspires me. Thank you so much. That means a lot coming from both of you. <laughs> So do you feel like you're ready to take the next steps to pursue your dreams? I'm ready to take on the world now, like I really am. I'm so glad you're ready because we have a few surprises for you. More? <laughs> what else could 
<laughs> there be. It gets better. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. We're gonna set you up with a one-on-one -on -one meeting with a talent agent that works with some of the biggest movie stars. And we also know how expensive your dreams can be. So we're gonna give you $5,000. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh What's going on? You turned pink like me. <laughs> I literally, I'm like, what? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm over here, so why do you feel my palms, girl? <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? Oh my God. Also, headshots. We have to do headshots, and you've got two supermodels here, so we're gonna help direct you in having your next headshots, and we're gonna shoot them right over here, right now. Oh my God, yes. I'm ready! Yes. <laughs> I never thought something like this would happen for me in a million years. I wasn't expecting Winnie to be here. I wasn't expecting this experience to be life-changing for me. It was so incredible to meet Isaiah. Hearing his story was so inspiring to me. I am so excited for Isaiah's future. Sky's the limit. This experience has changed my life, and I'm so grateful for that.